Johnson shut-ins state park and uh, apparently they get flash floods here this is interesting not something I have to worry about right now but springtime whole different issue This is what I wanted to show you. Shut-in is a term for a narrow constriction or gorge in a stream. Look at this. Oh, too far. All right, everyone. I'm here on December 3rd, 2021. It's 75 degrees, actually 76, and uh, it's beautiful outside. I'm here at Johnson's Shout-Ins State Park, and it was such an odd-sounding name that I actually had to stop, once again, because of the whole Elephant Rock thing. And uh, this place is phenomenal. All these different little rocks that have been scoured by this river. They're all rounded off and smooth, and this looks like a place that would be just incredible to see uh, in the summertime. I'll bet you there's kids everywhere out here. It's just, in, just amazing. So we're going to scope this place out. This trail is really well done. Uh, it's got rails on both sides and nice boardwalk. So I'm going to see where this place goes. This could be fun. Stay tuned. All right, now we're talking. Look at these rocks. They're all smoothed out, all of them. Just impressive. The river goes that way. I can see a waterfall or something over there. We'll scope that out in a minute. Let's see what we can see over here, aside from my shadow. Look at these rock formations. Look how smooth they are. Look how rounded they are. This is really cool. And there's my shadow. That little pool right there is really, really deep. And then you look at these rock formations. They're just incredible, amazing rock formations.
That spot right there looks like an awesome little uh, swim spot. Really, really deep though. Look at that blue water. It is.
All right. Now let's go down to that blue water that we saw earlier. Just look at the rocks. These rocks are really, really awesome. Just all rounded. You got purples, pinks, grays, blues. All right here. There's tons of little fishes in here. I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. Lots of them. The uh, bigger ones are down lower than the little ones that are up on top. Rather interesting. Probably because the big ones know that there are blue heron here and uh, they don't want to be dinner. Here's that blue water. I'm going to keep going for a little bit. And, uh, just so you know, a point of reference, I was up there shooting this pool and now I'm down here. It says restricted area all over the place, over on that side. Over on this side, there's not a single sign to be seen. So there's no restriction on being over here, which is why I'm over here. And for all the relatives and family who can't do things like this, this is their one way of coming out and exploring with me without having to uh, kill themselves. You know, which of course is fun too, but some are more risk adverse than me so they'd like to stay at home and watch on their big screen tvs eating popcorn or whatever it is that they eat maybe it's nachos and just look at that water Beautifully crystal clear. There's tons of little fish over there, right on the bottom of that rock. They're about six inches long. I can't, I think they're sucker fish. Yeah, they're sucker fish of some sort. They bottom feeders. So, anyway, if you look at the rock up close, you can see that it's covered in moss. So, um, <laughs> it's probably really, really, really slippery here in the summer when kids are out fooling around on the rocks. The good news is the rock itself outside the water is actually pretty grippy. Oh man, I didn't bring a trash bag. I hate it when people leave garbage here. Anywhere actually, it's really annoying. Isn't that cool? I mean, this little ledge here drops off and it looks like it's a 20 foot drop. Can you see the little fish? I 
I can. Either way. I think I'm gonna go over to that boulder and then I think that's gonna be it because pretty much levels off after this. But let's go touch the boulder. Say that we did it. Okay, I've touched the boulder. Oh, and that fish was not too happy that I snuck up on him. But this is gonna go up just a little bit. And right up there, you can see the platform I was standing on. It's right there. And shooting this direction. I'll be completely honest with you. I like the view from over here far better. All right. Well, let's see what else we can find. I thought I'd show you uh, looking back. That's the way I came from. And so all this water comes through this narrow little gorge. And uh, what those signs were saying is that this is all uh, volcanic ash that was compressed and fused together and it's called uh, volcanic tough I guess it's what it's called or or fused tough or something like that anyway um, this is softer than the other rocks and as a result the water is able to erode this easier which is why we have what we have here kind of cool kind of cool and let's see here now it's just a matter of reversing our steps and going back. Although it's never exactly the same because I see different things and want to scope out different things, which means I take different routes. And like I said, uh, this rock is really grippy. So your shoes just stick right to it. It's so weird seeing the fish move in your peripheral vision. You know, I mean, look at that drop off. That's a good, looks like about 12 feet of water. You find the jump off into it in the summertime when it's nice and warm. Once again, I don't know if you can see them. All those things are, are fish, little fishes. Just looks really cool. Sorry about that, folks. I uh, forgot that I didn't have it on wide angle because for shots like this, you really do need to be able to see as much as you can. And uh, it gives you perspective. So wide angle it is. for the five people who've been watching. It's crazy, I watch these videos that get millions of views and uh, I get most of the time 10.
Sadly, we got to go back this way. My legs just aren't quite long enough to make that jump over there. I wish they were, but they're not. So, up this way we go. And just think, you guys don't have to do any of this. I mean, I love screwing around on rocks. It's a blast. But some people, hey, really, really, really don't like this. I don't even know why. Maybe they fell as a kid or something. I don't know. Look at this rock right here. This one right here. That cool looking. And that is a deep, deep hole underneath it. Isn't this cool? This is just amazing out here. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed taking a walk with me.
For some reason, I just love this view. That and I've never been in a forest where it's all deciduous, so all the leaves are gone. It just looks cool. I hope you think it looks cool too. All right, everyone, that's the video of Johnson's Shed-In State Park here in Missouri. It is 75 degrees-ish, probably a little warmer than that, on December 3rd, 2021. It's beautiful out here. As you can see, I have the place to myself. I saw a few people on the trails, but that was about it. No one out here. And I am just having the time of my life. This place is incredible. So uh, for those of you who tagged along this far, I'm supposed to say this, uh, I haven't been, but uh, apparently everyone's supposed to subscribe to my channel. Everyone is supposed to comment. Uh, so even if you just say hi or, you know, whatever, <laughs> it'd be funny if you actually wrote whatever. And uh, uh, give my video a like. Um, Less than 10 people watch my videos. <laughs> and so for the 10 to eight people who are watching this, uh, go ahead and uh, say something. Uh, I respond to absolutely everybody. And uh, so yeah, you guys have a great day. I'm having an awesome time. And until next time, I'll see you out there.